Judiciary Committee holding its first impeachment hearing today. This is after the House Intel Committee released its report on impeachment findings saying President Trump undermined national security. Hillary Vaughn is live on Capitol Hill with the very latest. Hi, Hillary. Hi, David. This hearing was looking at the constitutional grounds for impeachment, so the committee brought four law professors in to get their perspective on whether or not the report issued by the House Intelligence Committee details um, enough evidence that meets the grounds for impeachment and rises to the level of high crimes and misdemeanors. And three witnesses, all invited by the Democrats, say they believe that the evidence in this report does rise to that level. But the sole witness on the panel that Republicans invited today disagrees, saying that the accusation of bribery and also the accusation of obstruction of justice is not met through this report. But really what's been causing the most outrage from the White House is not the law professor's legal opinions. It's how one of them made their point, bringing up the president's 13-year-old son, Barron, into the discussion when talking about the limits of the president's power as outlined in Article 2 of the Constitution. So while the president can name his son Barron, he can't make him a Barron. <laughs> That line drew backlash from the First Lady, Melania Trump, who tweeted this moments ago. A minor child deserves privacy and should be kept out of politics. Pamela Carlin, you should be ashamed of your very angry and obviously biased public pandering using a child to do it. But it also sparked controversy from Republicans in the room. When you try to make a little joke out of referencing Baron Trump, that does not lend credibility to your argument. It makes you look mean. It makes you look like you're attacking someone's family, the minor child of the president.